I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about arc length. In problem number 13, we'd like to find the arc length of the curve y equals x squared plus 2 over 3, well x squared plus 2 to the 3 halves over 3, on the interval from 0 to 1. Alright, so we're going to use our arc length formula again, so let's just remind ourselves L is equal to the integral from A to B of the square root of 1 plus F prime of X quantity squared DX. So the first thing we need to know is if we know our function Y, what is Y prime? What's the derivative of our function? So we know that Y is equal to x squared plus 2 to the 3 over 2 uh, over 3 and so y prime is equal to uh, if I bring down the 3 halves I get 3 halves um, and we've got this as still times 1 third because of this 3 on the bottom times x squared plus 2 to the 1 half uh, times the derivative of what's inside by the chain rule, so times a 2x. All right, all that together, uh, we see that the 3's cancel, the 2's cancel, and I'm just left with y prime is equal to uh, x times x squared plus 2 to the one half. Okay, so we've got our derivative. <clears throat> now that we know what the derivative is, we can plug that into our equation for arc length and get an integral that will give us our value. So our integral, we know we're integrating on the interval from zero to one, so let's plug in zero and one. Then we have square root of one plus the derivative, which we have right here, x times x squared plus 2 to the 1 half squared dx. So this is the integral that will get the job done for us. Let's square this. When I do, I get integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 plus, when I square x, I get x squared. And when I square x squared plus 2 to the 1 half, I just get x squared plus 2 dx. Let's multiply that out. I'll multiply everything inside these parentheses by an x squared to give me integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of x to the 4th uh, plus 2x squared plus 1 dx. Now, what would be really great is if I could take the square root of something here. So if this thing were a perfect square that's inside the square root, then I could take the square root of that square. Well, it just so happens that this thing is a perfect square. I can factor x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1, and it gives me something very nice. Let's do it. So if I factor that, I get integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of x squared plus 1 quantity squared dx. But now I have the square root of a square, which is quite nice, and I get the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared plus 1 dx. And that's a nice thing that I can take an antiderivative of. So let's take the antiderivative. Antiderivative of x squared is x cubed over 3. Antiderivative of 1 is x and that's evaluated from 0 to 1. We'll plug things in and I get 1 third. I plug 1 in for x and I get plus 1. I plug zeros in and I get zeros and so I'm just left with 4 thirds. So 4 thirds is the arc length of this curve on the interval from x equals 0 
to x equals 1.